Hello guys, today is my first um, YouTube uh, video, so I'm kind of kind of new to this. Like uh, I don't, you know, I'm not used to talking to myself. So please give me some um, support after this. Give me a like or whatever. But today's first plugin is actually going to be how to make your own Java plugin. Um, no, not Java, <laughs> Minecraft plugin. My bad. For um, for your own server so all those server owners who wanna who don't wanna f like pay for a Java developer or like a bucket developer you can just learn how to do it on this series there's like I'm not gonna say that I'm the best alright like obviously I'm not the best there's a lot of better people like pogo stick 29 developer whatever and BC bros is even better than me um there's a lot of people that do do these kind of tutorials but I just wanted to show you my point of view on how to do things like my like how to do things the right way like there are a lot of errors that the BC Bros does and for all of you that watch the BC Bros um, his format and his like Java stuff isn't, isn't that great I mean like so I just wanted to I'm not saying that he's bad though like don't get me wrong but I just want to show you how I do it right and it's I think it's a good way to learn and get other people's perspective of things to learn and get better at things like how you learn. So the first thing you want to do when you when you want to make your first um, bucket plugin is you want to go to getspigot.org or you can actually go to the spigot the spigot um, uh, website or go to Google or something and get the spigot jar there. But I just think that get spigot is a lot easier because you just have to press get spigot the jar will pop up here and you just move that to wherever you want and that's that's it and to get eclipse eclipse is the program that we're going to use to start developing java you just go to eclipse.org slash downloads the link these links will be in the description so don't worry about that um you just got to go to Eclipse IDE for Java E developers, and you can just choose which one, or whatever your computer is suited best for 32 bit, 64 bit, whatever. I already have that. So, once you download that, you should pop up with something like this. Now, it won't actually say be something exactly like this. Uh, don't mind my other projects here, don't worry about that. Um, but It'll have like welcome to Java and stuff like that. You can just press X, it'll be somewhere there. Um, and once you're done all that stuff and you have the spigot jar in your desktop or wherever you wanted it to be, all you gotta do is press file, new, Java project. If you don't see Java project here at the right, you probably are like selected to something else other than Java. If you're Java EE, just like go and select Java. Go ahead and select Java and just go to File, New, Java Project. Now we're just going to make this. Sorry, I got to move my wallet here, man. Can't type. Okay, so the first um, thing we need to name this project. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it YouTube and make sure you have it uh, Java SE 1.8, you know, that stuff. Press OK and inside here you'll just. You'll have nothing but a source and your standard Java lib system libraries. Um, next thing you want to do, actually, I recommend you do something. You press uh, this down arrow over here, and you package presentation. Try to change it to hierarchy. It's a lot better. It just I don't know. It's just what I like to do. It'll make it a lot easier. It it, it really helps. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to right click on your package in my case it's YouTube now I'm going to go to properties you can also click on it alt enter then these little shortcuts they really do help but I'm just going to show you how to do it manually it's better practice um you want to go to Java build on the left and add external jars and for me my spigot is right here. It's called spigot server because you know the spigot server also works. It's basically the same thing. Once you've added that and it shows up here, just press OK. You want to go to source. Want to press new package. Now my package. Usually people do in their package names. They kind of do like their the website like their website in reverse. So for example, it's like com.youtube or something like that. 
my case, since I don't really have a website, I'm just going to do that meetupbrian.youtube. So basically, it's just me, it means it's my project, Brian, my name, and this is the name of the project that we're going to be doing. So there are other ways to, you can simply just do YouTube, and that that's it. But like, I don't know, it's it's more professional to do it like this. Um, after that, you don't need to click this. That's I've never actually used that before, so um, just press finish, and now you have your your first package. Now you see that you can't really do anything in your package. You can't code anything. So the thing that we use to code in Java is called the class. To make a class, you right click on the package. Don't right click on the source or this. You want to right click on the package you just made. Press new, and go to class. Your main class will probably, I recommend you make it like, usually, usually, I just make a main, but you can name it anything, you can name it YouTube, you can name it anything, but just for professional purposes, I'm just going to make it main, it's, it's better practice. Press answer, or press OK, and so now you can code whatever you want. Um... So the first thing here you want to do is extends Java plugin. Oh my god, if I could type. Plugin. And so you're getting an error here. The error is because you need to import Java plugin. You need to basically tell the code that you're going to be using the bucket API or spigot API. And it just extends basically means you're just going to be using this this method, this thing, whatever. Um, so you just import that, or a shorter way to do that is you can actually do Control Shift O. O as in like, O like, you know, O not zero O. Um, and it'll automatically import everything. Another cool thing you can do is Control Shift F, and it'll format your code perfectly, and it'll be really nice. Yay! formatted so the first thing you want to do is um let me see what are we gonna get started on oh of course you want to do public i'm just gonna code everything out first and then i'll explain everything after uh, what the oh man my keys aren't working my arrow keys aren't working oh well We'll just deal with that later. Public void. Um, disable. Just copy this and it should be fine. Alright, so this is basically showing when the server starts and it, it'll it boot up the plugin. So it will just enable the plugin real quick. Usually, back in the old days, you'd have to like put an entering message, like you need. You need to put like, oh, the server. I mean, um, the plugin answered, but job bucket does that, or spigot does that automatically now for you. So you don't need to do that anymore. You can just leave this blank for now. Usually, you'd put stuff in here, but for our case, our simple plugin is going to be really easy, and it's just going to be a setup. The next tutorial will probably do things like event handlers or commands, or I'll just like get you into Hmm. Let's not think about that now. Actually, um, so set up this since this is obviously on enable. This is, I mean, this is when the server starts. This is obviously when the server like goes down, right? After the server goes down, you just put it automatically puts like the end message and this enters the on message. It's like booting your computer on and off. Next thing you want to do is public boolean on command command sender oh sender uh like I said I'm just gonna code everything out first and then I'll I will explain everything to you string array alright now I'm just going to assume like. Actually, you know what? I'm just not going to assume anything. I'll just explain everything. Um, like I said, you just got to control shift O to import everything. That's usually the reason why you get these errors. See, so you can just import that to bucket 
whatever fucking org and if you're getting something like you you can you have two options um you'd usually just go for the first one i mean other like other than that i'll tell you what to import so you don't need to really worry about that so basically public i'm gonna assume you all know what public is like it's not that hard it's pretty self-explanatory boolean means that it has to return return a true or false statement so in this case it's just we're just gonna leave it false i mean you can leave it true you can leave it false it doesn't really matter true false you won't get any errors um on command this is where you can make your own commands command sender sender just you don't really need to know what that means the only really thing you need to know what like what you need to know here is string label this is going to be like the name of your command so let's say you type something in like slash op the string of the label will would be op right like I don't know how to it's hard to explain but um you guys will get it like in no time I'm sure so to get things started we're just actually that that should be it I mean you don't really know need to know anything else do you Let me think oh um, hmm. there are also at event handlers it's pretty self-explanatory it handles all your events and such uh, but we'll get to that next episode so I think that's all you need to know for today you don't really need to I mean I'll explain the public the void the voids all the class is pretty explanatory you're in this class that's named main and I've already explained to you what extends is return is already part of boolean it returns a true or false statement let me think let me think you don't need to know what that is for now yeah i think this is it this is basically what you're gonna what your plugin is going to look like unless you're doing some extreme project this is what your plugin is going to look like um every time you make a plugin it's basically your setup it's like yeah it's like a template think of this as like a template this is what your plugin is going to look like unless you actually make a new class for your plugins anyways let's not get sidetracked so this is going to be the end of the video because this is just setting up and so you guys know what to do i'll probably post a video like later today because i have nothing to do really or two days from now one of those so i'll see you later today or two days from now um, I'll see you later guys. This is basically all you need to know for now. Um, there isn't anything important that you need to know on the first episode because I don't want to confuse you. So, yeah. See you guys later.